Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the latest release of Solus, version 4.6, codenamed Convergence. Now, if you're a fan of Solus or looking to explore a new Linux distribution, this update is packed with some exciting features. So, let's dive right in. First off, Solus 4.6 arrives just a little over nine months after its predecessor, Solus 4.5, and it's bringing us some solid updates. Powered by the Linux kernel 6.10, this release comes with fresh live and installation media to make setting up easier for new users. And for all you gamers and creators out there, the updated graphics stack, Mesa 24.2, is here, offering a boost in performance for games and other graphic-intensive software. Pretty sweet, right? Something else worth noting is the continued work on the USR merge, which aligns Solus with efforts from distributions like Fedora. Solus 4.6 marks the end of Stage 3, meaning all users with updated systems now have a fully merged USR merge setup. New installations will also be merged right from the start. According to David Harder, Stage 4 is just around the corner. Of course, Solus 4.6 offers four desktop editions, Budgie, Gnome, KDE Plasma, and XFCE. All of them have been updated to their latest versions. We're talking Budgie 10.92, Gnome 46.5, KDE Plasma 6.15, and XFC 4.18. XFC users, this one's for you. Solus 4.6 brings a few changes. And Grandpa from MATE is now the default archive manager, replacing GNOME's file roller. You'll also get Linux Mint's XReader as the new default document viewer. Plus, the keyboard layout switcher plugin is now installed by default. Simple but handy improvements. Now, one of the most interesting changes is on the GNOME and KDE Plasma editions. Solus 4.6 has added support for their native software centers, GNOME Software and Plasma Discover. These package managers work alongside the traditional Solus Software Center, making it easier for you to install Flatpak apps from Flathub. They're still considered experimental in Solus, but it's a great step toward giving users more choices. Solus 4.6 is available for download now from the official website, and it's only for 64-bit systems. If you're already a Solus user, there's no need to reinstall. Just update your system via the package manager. Solus follows a rolling release model, meaning once you install it, you'll keep getting updates without needing to worry about upgrading to new versions. That's it for today's breakdown of Solus 4.6 Convergence. If you're using Solus or planning to give it a try, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think the experimental software centers are a game changer? And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more Linux updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Support the channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing.